All right, we're going to head to that news alert out of Doral with that heavy police presence. Let's listen in. Altercation amongst patrons at a local facility within this commercial establishment. The security guard that was working intervened, and that's when the subject produced a firearm and shot and killed the security guard. Officers that were working the commercial establishment at the time immediately responded and, w and uh, there was an exchange of gunfire between the subject and the officer. The officer shot and killed the subject. However, the officer also sustained a gunshot wound to the lower extremity. Unfortunately, during this altercation or exchange of gunfire, multiple people were struck by that, by gunfire, a total of six. One of the six is a female, from what we understand, and the rest are all males. One, was, one is in Jackson Trauma Center in critical condition. One is at Kendall Regional Trauma Center, or HSH, Kendall Regional Trauma Center, in critical condition as well. The remaining four are listed in stable condition. At the present time, we do know that two officers of the City of Doral Police Department did discharge their firearm, but as I mentioned, only one was injured by gunfire. The Florida Department of Law Enforcement continues to talk to all witnesses that are here in order to be able to gather all the details and, of course, with crime scene technicians to gather physical evidence in order to know exactly what did occur, but we still have the preliminary info. We're not going to be able to determine how these individuals these civilians that were not involved in the altercation that were also struck, the six, how they were struck by gunfire. Whose gunfire, who, whose gunfire uh, was the one that struck them? It is way too early to know, and perhaps we may not know for, for quite some time just yet until this evidence, of course, is processed in order to be able to determine exactly how was it that it occurred. But unfortunately, the security guard lost his life while he was performing his duties. And of course, our heart goes out to that family. We're glad to hear that the officers are, that the officers doing okay, but to speak about that, that's why I have the chief of the city of Doral Police Department, Chief Edwin Lopez, that is going to be here to be able to discuss the details regarding his officer. Good morning, everyone. I am extremely proud of the work of our police officers here in the city of Doral. Uh, today, uh, the, the heroic actions of a few of, of, a few of our police officers um, involved in this incident today. Uh, no, there's no pictures, a lot of noise. The heroic actions of our police officers today prevented an incident from escalating. During the process, the officer, two officers discharged their firearms. One of the officers, the one who was struck with four years of service, um, applied a tourniquet on himself immediately after being struck, even after he discharges firearm. The extensive training that our police officers undergo is a testament to why that officer is alive today. This is a multi-agency investigation between the Florida Department of Law Enforcement, the Miami-Dade Police Department, and the Doral Police Department. I want to thank all the responding agencies from the Medley Police Department, from the Sweetwater Police Department, from the Miami-Dade Police Department, and obviously from the Doral Police Department, who were able to uh, safely secure the scene and prevent it from escalating. Coincidentally, one year ago to the day, we conducted a mass casualty multi-agency active shooter drill here at the same establishment. Because of those extensive training sessions that we conduct, it's why we're able to prevent these incidents from occurring. Although we can never guarantee with 100% certainty that an incident like this does not occur, we can definitely ensure that when and if an incident like this occurs in South Florida, we have the capacity, the training, and the necessary skill set to immediately defuse the incident and eliminate the threat. We are grateful and we thank God that our officer is safe and secure. Again, the heroic actions of all of our responding officers, primarily both who were able to engage the subject immediately and neutralize the threat. The fact that they responded and without a delay in their response, were able to take immediately, immediate and swift action 
is a testament to the training and the, and the skill set that they have. So we're blessed in the South Florida community. This is an extremely disappointing day in our South Florida community. Anytime a law enforcement officer is shot, it tears at the core fabric of our community. But we are grateful that he is alive and in stable condition. And we look forward to completing this investigation and returning to normal operations here today. Yes, we have. A, there, there was a security detail here at the same establishment, so the response time was immediately by our police officers. And what's the restaurant, the Martini, what's it called? The Martini Lounge, or what is it called? Where it, where it happened, what's the restaurant called? As you mentioned, um, it occurred at, at Martini Bar. Martini Bar, okay. And then as far as the guy who started all this, that shot, what's his name or anything like that? Any right. priors? So right now it's an active investigation. We haven't identified any of the folks involved yet. Our detectives are investigating. Like I said, it's a multi-agency investigation. The Florida Department of Law Enforcement is investigating the police-involved shooting. Miami-Dade Police, uh, Police Department is investigating the homicide. And then the Doral Police Department is assisting in both parts. Okay, and just to clarify, it was a fight breaks out between these people. Security guard gets in the middle to stop it. He's shot and killed by the guy who causing a commotion. Then the police come and start shooting him. And one of the police officers shoots and kills this guy, right? Well, preliminary, pre the preliminary investigation is that three officers, I'm sorry, two officers and a subject who is deceased all produce firearms and discharge their weapons. At this time, it's too early to tell who was shot by who, but um, we're actively investigating that incident. Uh, so the, as far as innocent people shot, Total of six. Correct. Six innocent bystanders at this time were shot. They are in hospitals at this time. None of them have deceased at this time. But but we have several that are in critical condition. But the subject was shot. Police officer shot. So we have eight. We have. Oh, we, right. so, it's, so, it is, so it is. So it is nine total. So it is nine total. So nine nine persons were in, in total were shot. One was a police officer, two are deceased, and six are currently in the hospital receiving medical treatment. And what is the condition of those six people in the hospital? Various conditions at this time. Several have, are reported to be in critical condition. Okay, and men, women, do you know the genders of people? One the, the initial one report is one female and five males. We have no idea what they were fighting about. The initial... At, th at this time, no. We're, the officers are still investigating, interviewing witnesses. I mean, this is a very lengthy investigation, so we plan uh, the rest of the day and into the coming days to continue the investigation. And obviously, we recovered the guy's firearm, the initial fight Correct. started. Correct. The person that he was fighting with, has he been taken into custody? They're still looking at, at that. We're, we're interviewing. There could be multiple people involved in the initial argument, so we, we've detained multiple witnesses. Our officers are at various hospitals interviewing key, key uh, personnel who were, who were present. So there's no like immediate threat to people in this area that the guy, someone could be loose? Absolutely not. The scene is completely secure. Um, we have now, it will be shut down here for, for the next few hours while police conduct the investigation. But the scene and the surrounding areas are, are safe and secure at this time. Did this all happen All right, that is officials updating us on a massive incident that happened in Doral. What we have learned, nine people shot mm -hmm. in total. Uh, we have heard a fight broke out at Martini Bar in Doral. Yes. Uh, we know that a security guard was shot and killed by a subject. That subject was now killed. An officer was also shot, but they are expected to be okay. Yes, and six people, six bystanders were also shot, all taken to the hospital in various conditions. This is a developing story. Story. We'll continue to follow this all morning long and bring it to you throughout the hours. For now, we'll head to break. We'll see you after this.